Hey everybody, today I'm going to be showing you a little bit on how to make a kaleidoscope within After Effects. Uh, basically you just grab a video clip and you mirror it to make sort of a kaleidoscope looking image. Okay, first when you're in After Effects you grab a video clip. Um, I'm going to go ahead and make a new composition. Uh, I made mine 720 because that's the size of my video clip. And I think I'm going to call this one Corner. Yeah, okay. So once we're done with that, um, put, the comp put the video in the composition. Uh, I'm going to show you a little bit about it. Um, my video uses a lot of negative space and it's kind of surreal looking just because I wanted to use it. You can use whatever you want. Um, you want to go view and show rulers to show your rulers and uh, grab the left side and bring it dead smack in the middle of your composition and then same with the top one so you kind of have a little crosshair going on. Uh, make sure it's in the middle. Go to view, lock guides so you don't uh, move them around or anything. Okay, once you're done with that you go ahead and get your pen tool. Make sure your clip is selected and oop, I'm gonna go to the top right hand corner. You can do any corner you want but I'm gonna do the right hand corner and I'm going to make a point and start making a mask with the pen tool. Okay, go ahead, zoom out, go to the middle, and make a point in the middle, like dead smack, it has to be perfectly in the middle, so, you know, no stress. And then I'm going to make a point over here. Awesome. And close it up. Cool, so we have this little triangle. Awesome. So that's one part of the thing. Uh, what we're going to do next is we're going to go down to the clip. And I'm going to copy paste it with command C, command V because I'm on a Mac. And then I'm going to click, make sure it's a 3D layer with the cube. I'm going to click P and then shift R for the position rotation. I'm going to grab the Y rotation and turn it 180 degrees. So it flips over to the other side of the canvas. Now I'm going to get the Z rotation and turn that so that it kind of mirrors itself. And yeah. They're not quite touching, so I'm going to go ahead and adjust that a little bit. Perfect. Okay, so now that they're touching each other, it looks pretty good. Um, I'm going to go ahead, you can't really see because there's a lot of black in the background, so I'm going to minimize that and I'm going to turn off the transparency grid so you can actually see what we're doing. Just click that little button if you're having trouble. Um, I'm going to go ahead and copy and paste this layer too. So copy, paste, and then we have a new layer. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and click P and Shift R again, and this time we're going to flip it around to zero degrees, and then it's going to mirror itself again. I'm going to flip it with the Z rotation again, and make it mirror itself, and perfect that time. Um, the only issue is there's a little bit of a sliver up top. What we're going to do is we're going to kind of cheat this by grabbing, yeah, go ahead and minimize that. Select the layer, click M for the mask, and then you're going to go to the top, shift click it so you can move the little point, and just move it over so that uh, matches the guide. Okay, so we have a whole corner done. Awesome. Um, just to make this go a little bit faster, we're going to go ahead and uh, make a new composition so we don't do this like 80 times. Uh, okay, new composition. I think I'm going to call this one full just because we're going to put all the corners in. Uh, make sure it's the same dimensions as your last one. Okay. Grab the corner composition, throw it in there, and then, uh, okay. Copy and paste that. I think you see where we're going. We're going to make a 3D layer out of it. We're going to do P, Shift, R. Uh, grab the Y rotation, move it 180 degrees, have it flip over the other side of the screen. And if you see, there's a tiny little sliver in the middle. And I'm going to go ahead and move it over just like one or two pixels. Okay. And I know that there's like some white space in the corners, but we'll fix that later. Just make sure that they're all touching in the middle. So I'm going to copy-paste that one. Um, grab the position. I'm going to move the Z rotation this time. I'm going to move that 180 degrees. And then it's going to flip over to the right, the bottom right. Okay. Perfect. I'm going to copy-paste that. I'm going to flip the Y rotation on the next one over to zero degrees. And there's another little sliver in the middle again, so I'm going to move it over a couple pixels. And 
cool so it's perfect um, so we're gonna fix the edges now and uh, you can see that it's all touching each other in the middle so it's perfect um, cool I'm going to go over and make one more new composition this one's going to be called final just because it's the final one and go ahead grab your full composition throw it in there real quick I'm going to do this I'm going to click uh, P and S I'm going to for scale I'm going to go to 101 percent and it looks perfect awesome so I guess I'll play that just a little bit alright so there it is there's a kaleidoscope effect pretty easy to make we made that in about five and a half minutes pretty simple um, fun to do you can easily just put anything or any uh, video clips that you want to make this out of you can just throw it in there if you make a new composition beforehand and uh, don't forget to comment or subscribe and uh, thanks for watching